Bill from Disney Image Makers here, and today I'm going to be talking about um, the crop tool in Adobe Lightroom. And we're going to go through it. It's going to be a quick video because it's a fairly simple tool, but it's something that you need to know how to use if you're going to use the program. Oh, well, I know how to crop. I do that on my phone. Why? You know, it's very easy to use. Well you may need to be specific in how you crop. Maybe you have to crop something that's going to be printed at a certain size. Or maybe you want to crop the same image three or four different ways. Maybe for Instagram one way or your Facebook page another. Or maybe you want to have it printed at a couple of different sizes. So it's a tool that's... Um, and it's also a, a way to straighten your images. So we're going to dive into the computer here and I'm going to run through the entire tool. It shouldn't take too long. and um, this way we, you have a working knowledge of the crop tool. So let's jump into the computer and I'm going to show you the crop tool in Adobe Lightroom. So I'm over here in the develop panel and I've made a few adjustments to the image and now I'm going to open the crop tool which is right here. When I click it open, the tool is going to open and around my image you can see that there's now a grid with little anchors that I can pull in from different points of the, uh, of the image. And I can pull this any way I want right now because right here next to the size is a little lock and this lock what it does is it locks the aspect ratio so when you have this unlocked it's basically a free crop so when I have it like this I can move this freely and if I happen to come across while I'm pulling it a size that Lightroom recognizes it'll show me so this is a 4 by 6 right here so if I stopped right here it would be a 4 by 6 well, it's an 8 by 10, 11 by 14. So you get the idea with that. But you don't have to do it that way. What you can do is drop down this window. Now Lightroom is going to give you some sizes that are most common. So 1 to 1 would be a square, 8 by 10. And now once you click on a size that you want, let's say it's 8 by 10, you now have the ability to make that bigger. So you can choose what portion of the image you actually want to work on at that aspect ratio. So this is 8 by 10, 5 by 7, and so on. These are custom sizes that I've put in. So let's say I wanted to do a wide, almost panorama looking shot. So I could do a 2 to 1 crop. And you can put in any parameter that you want. If I wanted the crop to look like that, I would just hit done. And that's the part of the image I would be working on. Now, I didn't delete the other portions of the image. They're still there. If I reopen the crop tool, they're going to pop back up and I can continue cropping. So this is great if you wanted to make a few different sizes of the same image. So let's say I wanted a two to one aspect ratio here, but I also wanted to, for Instagram, crop it like this. So let's say this was an Instagram crop I wanted. So I wanted to do that for Instagram. It really lets you control you know, everything about your image and the sizing. You know, there's any number of ways that you can crop an image. Now, realize that when you crop into your image, you're actually removing parts of the image, so the resolution is not going to be as good. If you happen to have a high-end DSLR, this won't be a problem. I can crop in on this and still print a decent sized image from the pixels that are available to me in this small portion of the original image, which is this. If your camera does not have a high resolution sensor or you're using a cell phone or you're using a small point and shoot camera, what's going to happen is if you crop in like this, you're going to degrade the image and it's going to look pixelated around the edges. And if you print it out, it's probably not going to turn out too well. When you're shooting with your camera, if you don't have a camera that has um, a lot of resolution in it, then try to do your cropping in camera. And what I mean by that is Try to frame the shot the way you actually want it when you're using your phone or um, especially at night because at night the images are going to be a little grainy to begin with, especially if your ISO is up. So you don't want to lose any more quality by actually chopping away some of the pixels. Um, you're not going to be able to blow up billboards and posters and things like that. But um, if you do use the whole image, you should be able to. So th that's how this works here. So you, you can enter custom sizes and um, you can use the presets that Lightroom gives you. 
and see if we can find a different image. I'm going back into the develop module. Now this is straight out of my camera with no edits to it, but you can see the building is actually leaning to the right. When I open my crop window again, there's another tool in here and that is to, you can rotate your image in here also. Very quickly in the crop panel, you can do that. And when you click OK, now you can see inside the box is going to be what you're left with. And when you click Done, it'll remove the other parts. Again, the same thing, though. If you want to go back to it, it's there still. So let's say you wanted to, you wanted to crook it for some reason. You can click the angle button and it'll put it back to the way you had it. You just have to adjust the crop or you can just reset and it'll put it back the way it was. You can always hit reset. Most of these panels have a reset button or control Z will take you back one step. The auto button is here. You can always try the auto button. There's an auto button in some areas of Lightroom and inside the crop tool, you can see what I did. I just clicked on it. So watch here. When I click on auto, Lightroom will find it for you. Sometimes it's not perfect. So you might have to go in there and just tweak it. And if you click on this, you'll get a tighter grid. So you really can make fine adjustments. And if you roll the wheel on your mouse, you can move in very small increments instead of grabbing it and pulling it, which can be a little, you know, out of control sometimes. By rolling the mouse, you can make fine movements with this. And uh, there's one other thing in here I wanted to show you. So I'm going to reset the image. Now, I can go right over the image. I can grab a point here, and if I keep my left click mouse down, I can actually pull a crop any way I want around the image. So if I wanted to crop it like that, that's where the crop will be. I'm going to reset it again. Now, if I do the same thing with the little lock locked, it's going to pull the crop in a steady way at the aspect ratio that the picture was shot in. So there you have that. And now it's locked, so I can't free crop. It's going to keep the aspect ratio no matter how I pull it. And that is the crop tool in Lightroom. So there you go. Not too complex, but it's a powerful tool that you need to be able to use when you're making your images. So hopefully you uh, liked the video. Um, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, please subscribe. And Eric and I will see you in the next video.